Cello, cello, cello. Stacy the Black Feather Intuitive here. Welcome to another weekly oracle reading for the week of June 22nd. So glad you're here. Come on in. Let's invite all the archangels, ascended masters, highest guides, creature teachers, light beings, elementals, loved ones, and spirit. Come on into this space to give us the clarity and guidance we need to really move forward in the direction of our dreams this week. All right, let's see what tarot deck I want to use today. Well, I'm called uh, called to the Enchanted Dreams Tarot. It's actually Tarot of Enchanted Dreams. Yasmin Westwood. All right, let's see what the message is going to be for us this week. Mm, I'm feeling a lot of interesting energy this week. I feel like things are going to be kind of up and down. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So we got the tower card. Holy cannoli. All right. Tower card in tarot indicates that we are in for kind of a wild ride. There's going to be something unexpected that jumps into our path. It is going to be a lightning strike of sorts that, that hits the top of the tower and starts a fire. And that fire is going to be hard to fight. And it's one of those things where we're going to have to let the fire kind of burn itself out or burn itself to a point where we can actually start to fight it or to uh, combat it or to tackle it, um, contain it. And this isn't necessarily a scary thing, although I'm going to say that, that when the tower card comes up, it's usually not something pleasant, but it's always something that's for your highest and best. Um, I'm also feeling called to, to share with you that this is also sometimes a shift in perspective that you're putting into a situation where you're, you're forced into looking at things from a different um, vantage point. Um, I'm hearing a lot of truth. Uh, truth and untruth and and maybe things that uh, long-held beliefs that you have uh, been following and feeling comfortable in this week something is gonna pop up that's going to rock or shake the foundation of those beliefs I feel like the tower card for all of us this week really is about truth and around truth truths in our own lives individual lives but also truths on a, a grander scale and I feel that this tower is really going to be bringing out a lot of mm, disruption, a little bit of chaos. Let me just um, preface this right now by saying we can all get through this chaos, no problem. It's not about jumping into the fear, freaking, freaking out, uh, uh, being uh, triggered by that fear. It's more about stepping back and observing how things are playing out. Oftentimes with the tower card, um, you know, if we if we use that analogy of the tower is on fire, sometimes all you can do is sit and watch it burn until you can get to a point where you can actually start to do something about it. And sometimes that's hard to do, but if you step into a space of observing what is happening, don't worry about the why so much right now. Just observe what is going on around you. You may have some insights and some epiphanies around it. You may not. Um, there may be that fear of loss. There may be that, oh boy, you know, wait a second. You know, I have all of my pictures from 1972 in the house and it's burning, you know, and there's that, oh, what am I losing? What am I, what am I you know, what can I not access or attain um, that I want to, to keep with me, that I'm attached to? What I'm hearing with this is observe. Observe without emotion as much as you can. Be detached from the situation and it will go faster. It will go smoother. And I want to say, I'm, I'm going to, you know, pull another card that will give us a little more information around this. But what I'm getting around this really strongly is that whatever these truths are, how our foundations are kind of rocked a little bit with the truths, it is up to us to be able to take this and say, okay, do I want to rebuild using half the tower and rebuild the tower that already existed? Do I want to allow the tower to burn completely to the ground so that I have a, a clean slate, a blank slate, in which to build either a new tower, stronger, better, faster, smarter, or maybe I don't want to build a tower at all. Maybe I want to build a home. Maybe I want to um, uh, have a field to plant uh, seeds, to plant food and uh, nourishment. I feel like this is 
breaking down old establishments, breaking down things that aren't serving any longer. And it's a big way. This card also is, I, I love to talk about the universal frying pan to the head. And <clears throat> I tend to be hard headed. I'm a little bit stubborn. So oftentimes I get the universal pr frying pan to the head. And the idea is our dream teams are constantly communicating with us. And they're saying, okay, she's kind of steering down a path that's not really in alignment with where she really wants to be. So we're gonna try and nudge her back onto the path. We're gonna just kind of let her see where things are at. We're gonna bring her subtle signs so that she can, you know, get there on her own because we all have free will. She has to make the choice. And you know, I might get a sign here and a sign there, but I dismiss it. I talk it away. I self-doubt, you know, I self-doubt or I just choose to go a different way. I know better than the universe knows. I'm gonna do my own thing. And so they go, okay, she missed that. So we're gonna amp it up, level two. We're gonna do a level two signs and symptoms so that, you know, she can't, she can't miss it. And I keep missing it and on and on and on it goes until finally they're like, okay, DEFCON 5, we gotta pull out the big guns here because she's not getting it. And that's what the tower card is. It's the universal frying pan to the head. It's the rug being pulled out from under you and everything shatters. And it's, you have no choice but to look at the situation and move forward from that situation. It forces you to look at it and make choices around it. That's what we've got coming up this week. <clears throat> Don't panic about it. You can avoid that universal frying pan to the head just by paying attention and listening to the signs, symbols, symptoms um, that pop up. Those little messages, you know, the voice in the back of your head, the feeling in your gut, those dreams that you keep having over and over and over again. Listen to them and take steps forward. This is all your intuitive guidance. This is all your spidey senses that are leading you back to a path. You're, you're on the wrong path or you need to take a detour. Um, you know, that there's something coming on the path that you don't, you know, you want to avoid. You don't want to be on it while that's happening. So listen to that inner guidance because it may help you to avoid something that is, is popping up here um, that is uh, big and is going to, you know, clean the slate. Um, so it's all about perspective. How are you going to see what happens? How are you going to see, choose to see that truth? And what are you going to do? How are you going to use that moving forward to create something that works better for you? All right. And the animals were talking to me this week. So this is Colette Baron Reed's uh, Spirit Animal Oracle deck. And they were, they were speaking pretty loud this morning, actually, kind of before I got out of bed. They were talking about it. Okay, and we have, ah, squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. And I'm feeling like this is the perfect card to go along with the message of the tower this week. The perfect card, believe in yourself. Nothing is happening around you that you're not going to be able to um, get through and thrive from, nothing at all. Believe in yourself, believe in your ability to do things. If whatever happens with this tower card in your life sets you what you what you see is set you back um, from reaching your goal, don't panic about it. Believe in yourself. Know that you are still going to get where it is that you need to be, and trust that there is a reason um, for the divine timing. There's a reason for the pause. I have a friend who always says delay is appropriate. You know, whenever there's a message that comes up and it's delay, it's delay is appropriate. So trust that everything that is happening at this time is happening to help you, um, to guide the way, to help you avoid something that you really don't need to go through and experience. Believe in yourself and also believe in that inner voice and that inner guidance. It's so important to be in that space all the time. And the energies of the planets, the energies of the earth that we are in right now supports that. Now more so than ever, your spidey senses are heightened. I'm sure most of you that are watching this, if not all of you that are watching this video right now, have had some of those experiences where you're just like, wow, I'm really noticing, I'm knowing things more quickly than I used to, or I'm seeing things out of the corner of my eye more often. I'm getting these dreams that are actually coming true. I'm getting thoughts before somebody calls, I know they're gonna reach out. You're noticing that your spidey senses are heightened. 
believe it. Don't doubt it. Don't put self-doubt on it. Believe that it is happening and it's happening for a reason. So this is your guidance this week. No matter what is coming around you, no matter what perspectives um, you're stepping into to, to shift into or to be, you know, kind of in a situation where you have no choice but to face those choices, believe in your ability to make the right choices and the right call so that you can move forward confidently and you're gonna be able to, to not only survive from this but thrive and perhaps build something new, something even better uh, than what existed before. And when we're talking about truth, you always wanna believe in your own truth, what resonates for you. And maybe that means something that is connected to an old limiting belief has to come down in order for you to step into something that is more in alignment with your truth and what you believe about yourself and what you believe about your life and how that is shaping up for you. All right, let's pick a feather from the feather jar. Oh, we get two feathers today. Responsibility. First thing I'm hearing is your life is your responsibility. Don't shirk responsibility. Again, believe in yourself. It's your responsibility to believe in you. It's not anyone else's responsibility to believe in you. So if you've got naysayers, you've got people who are, you know, talking around it or you're, you're making suggestions about, you know, a way that you're moving forward and you've got naysayers around you, it's your responsibility to discern whether you want to listen to them and their truth or their version of it, or whether you want to listen to your own. So I feel like this is responsibility around your own life and your own truth. And then we have, oh, we pulled the air card. So the realm of the mind, the realm of thoughts, mental energy, spiritual intelligence is what I'm hearing. So while you are taking responsibility for your life and moving forward in that vein, discovering truth, look at the white feather, purity, the purity of truth. You're doing this from a spiritually intelligent space. Air is the realm of the mind and our mind up here is floating off in the clouds, right? It's the top of our head. It's where our crown chakra sits, um, which is our connection to source. So it's spiritual intelligence. Use your spiritual senses to make your decisions this week rather than your uh, monkey mind it's the spiritual senses, that crown chakra connection. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning into the reading this week. Lots of um, very unique messages this month um, that I'm noticing. Really interesting to see how this is all gonna pan out this week. I'm here for you. If you happen to have a tower that's a little overwhelming this week, please feel free to reach out to me. That is exactly what I am here for. And believe me, I have been through so many towers in my life. I am constantly ever evolving. So I, I, would, I would like to say I'm kind of an expert at it. So if you do need some assistance, please feel free to reach out. I offer uh, 30 and 60 minute uh, clarity sessions for you. We can dive right on in and, and see kind of what needs to happen and how you can uh, move forward through that and thrive without being triggered by fear and stepping more into that place of trust. Um, if you like what you see here, please feel free to like, subscribe, and click the bell on my YouTube channel. Also, you can check out my Facebook page, The Black Feather Intuitive. And as always, I have my website, theblackfeatherintuitive.com. That's where you can book all of your sessions. Actually, you can book all of your sessions no matter where you go on my social media. But the website has all sorts of interesting goodies on there, lots of videos on how I work, um, freebies on there, meditations, uh, different blog articles I've written to give you a lot of information about all sorts of things. So if you're uh, looking to connect, that's a great way to do it. Would love to, um, to make that connection with you guys and help you out in any way I can. Thanks so much, take care, and have an amazing, amazing week. Bye.